Today, I didn't just flush money down the drain, but I also uncovered one of the weirdest and most obvious scams in Steam history and its respective rabbit hole. One that has been going on for the past 6 years and somehow involves the country of Korea. It all started when I was scrolling through the Steam new releases category and stumbled upon an interesting game to say the least. Scream or Die Virtual Circus or game. The player needs to get out of the maze with animatronics. That definitely, yeah, okay. I don't think I even need to name the show they are trying to capitalize off of. I think it's pretty obvious through its visuals and name, though the game came out today, December 26th, so they're a little late to the party. Now, any sane or normal person would obviously laugh and move on once they saw the price. It's $120, off from $200, mind you. But unfortunately, I'm a YouTuber. Here's a little note to keep in mind. The standalone game is on sale for $120, off from $200, but if you buy it in a bundle, it's only only three dollars on sale from 600 holy shit or you could get the bigger bundle for 50 dollars on sale from 3.1 thousand that's not where the market manipulation ends because if you go on the publisher's page and scroll down past the bermuda triangle you'll see the game is supposedly 400 dollars but on sale for 20 i can't find an actual reason as to what's going on here but if i had to guess it's this publisher changing the prices so frequently that steam doesn't even have time to fully update it on their end anyways Unfortunately, my blind ass didn't see the cheaper alternatives and ended up actually spending $120. I really hope there's no fucking fraud alert. I don't know how to explain this to my bank. After scamming myself, I went to my library to see that I paid $120 for one singular gigabyte. It's one gigabyte. I spent $120 for one gigabyte, mind you. Fuck, $100 per gig, I guess. It doesn't even have a menu. You just instantly spawn in upon launching the game. I'm sorry if you're watching this this video high but already i'm seeing more colors than science can even explain there's some generic non-copyright circus music playing in the background on loop so enjoy this better song i assume the glitching of the pixels on the screen are intended by design but it would also make sense if the game was just coded poorly you can also press f to just scream literally that's all why? You can press F to scream. What's the point of that? According to the description, it's to ward off evil as if these things are really challenging to face. What is he doing? Oh, hey, what's up? I'm gonna just run past him. I right, see you later, dude. Ah, uh, run. Oh my fucking god. Hey, can you guys get out the fucking way, please? What are you guys doing? Now they're just moonwalking. Jesus Christ. Oh. Where's the exit? Oh, what the fuck? Also in the description, it mentions a leaderboard, but I of course couldn't find it. And considering I was the one and only player ever, I must be at the top of it. There's also just strange and lazy development practically everywhere. Like apart from the maze itself, there's a door that just spawns in fire for some reason. And the exit door was slapped in between these walls, despite it not being the real one. My thought would be that the developer slapped it in to see if the model worked and didn't care enough to remove it after. And Anyways, after about 10 minutes of suffering, I did somehow find the exit and was treated to the best cutscene I've ever seen. I'm just kidding, you really thought I'd get a cutscene for $120? Amateur. After beating the game, I was given the option to either retry or just close it out and move on with my life. Of course though, I couldn't move on without writing my honest review. Do I recommend the game? I unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say no. And starting a real discussion with the community. Now, next up on this little virtual circus saga, I needed a thumbnail for the video. And I wanted to use this little clown here. The problem was, the top of his head was cut off. And so I did what any investigator investigative journalist would do. Right clicked and searched image with Google to see if I can find the original. And instead of finding what I was looking for, I instead find this. The Circus Adventures with Clown Pack. This is the exact same thing, but with a different clown. I wondered where this specific clown model was. And about 5 seconds into it, I realized all they did was slap the fucking chomping teeth over this clown. You can see him in the background. In fact, I could remake this little thing right here and I'll show you that. All right, so we have the original thumbnail here, and then we take out the clown, as you can see right here, made him a little bigger. We look up for some chomping teeth, just anywhere really on Google. We find something good, we just slap him over. Already starting to see some pretty good similarities right there. We take the original layer, we go to adjustments over here, hue, and turn that bitch up. If I did not tell you guys this right now, you would have never known that it's not the original fucking image, okay? And other than that, everything else is practically the same. This little bar at the bottom was just moved up and turned a little more blue 
70 plus models and circus bundle was replaced with scream or die virtual circus though he used this thumbnail here for this asset he didn't use any of the assets within it so all i'm assuming all he did was just take this photo right clicked and saved image so hey i mean hey qr if you know if you know this guy tell him he's he's getting scammed i guess but that's not all while looking through this little bar here in search images i decided to just find image source and then i found a lot more theme pages all in different languages obviously but i also found this there's this korean account which according to the translation i guess gaming influencer that just posts games that support korean and one of the games they posted was virtual circus and that's not all because they post every game they make hate a publisher well at least the last three that were recent breaking bed post apocalyptic 3 and virtual circus and i don't know this is just the creepy part okay when you go into the one of these and you check the replies they're just person talking about the male childbirth or whatever okay and if you go to the other one that has Haiti publishing it's the exact same so a different account this time talking the man must see and now who is this person well fuck if i know a short man's love challenge okay i don't know who this person is but it's just so weird like what is even going on and one more little thing i found this little website 50 games like free throw basketball for mac os which is supposed to just show you games similar to games you might like and of course at number 10 spot we have our beautiful scream or die virtual circus now is the person that made this list fucking stupid as hell no in fact you can just add your game in here wherever you want i'm assuming it's somewhat of like a sponsorship deal maybe or maybe whoever the fuck made this list is just high on crack i don't know now moving on from the virtual circus saga we need to take a little look at heyday the publishers and developers behind this game besides the fact that they have a shitload of games a lot of them bear practically the same name and even gameplay even the virtual circus wasn't the original that would actually be scream or die literally the exact same thing just with the lighting of a Zack Schneider film instead. The only thing that seems to differentiate all these games is their price tags but then again we can see that they all follow a similar pattern. Set an extremely high price and cut it down through a discount. Take 3D Puzzle World War 2 $4,310 at retail but on sale for only $23. Well at least until you click on it which after you'll see that it's actually $200. There are some normally priced games tossed around here and there but for the most part it's that same practice with their first ever game being released in september of 2017 what the hell is going on here well at face value we can see that a lot of these games are just trying to capitalize on popular search terms for example we have magic potter probably saved from the wrath of rowling thanks to that and sign thrown in there one of them is literally just called old retro shooter there's virtual circus as we just saw and even breaking bed which i should say is the exact same as world war ii in fact they may the exact same game four fucking times each with a slightly different map and assets and can you guess what their next games are going to try to capitalize on their next games are called grand theft hunter 3033 and find item cyberpunk is this even allowed isn't cyberpunk trademarked i guess since it's not the only word in the title it might be fine or maybe they literally just do not give a shit even if it is illegal of course the gameplay for all of these look very intense and exhilarating after doing my little research here are the theories i've gathered together that might explain what's going on here since there is no definitive answer you can choose which one to believe one theory is that this is actually a money laundering scheme heyday the publisher and developer is trying to turn dirty criminal money into clean money by cranking out games with the budget of a mcchicken and selling them for more than they are worth though the thing most people fail to realize is that money laundering is not that easy or simple just because you watched breaking bad doesn't make you a mastermind and also steam takes a 30 percent cut from any and all sales of those 120 dollars i threw away 36 of them went into steam's pockets although obviously it isn't impossible to launder money this way it's just kind of stupid to do it through steam when there are better options like nfts another theory is that these games are made specifically for achievement hunters achievement hunters are steam players that go out of their way to unlock as many achievements as possible in order to make their steam accounts look prettier i mean if that was the case then i wouldn't even blame any developer targeting that market it's seems easily exploitable the achievements aren't even hard to get i got all six by just finishing the game normally the last theory which is the one i believe is most likely is that this heyday character just slaps together asset flips to make as much profit as possible they then randomly generate a number to determine a retail price for them and it just discounts them heavily to a more normal price or heyday will put it in a bundle to entice players to buy it even more in order to trick any unsuspecting gamer that thinks they're getting a good deal and steam also likes promoting games that are on sale especially if the sale is as big as 99% off at 
least that's what it seems like. Though somebody should tell them the artificially inflated price should at least look slightly realistic. Regardless, whichever theory you want to believe, this is still a blatant scam. I obviously have no idea how much money they made from all these games, but it's clearly enough to where they see it viable to keep going. Like I said, they've been doing this for the past six years and Steam has yet to do anything about them because they can't do anything. As strange and blatant as this all is, none of these games are technically violating any of Steam's rules. If you try flagging them, you'll see that none of the reasons technically match the problem. Not even fraud as you are getting the game that you paid for. This is all just one big exploitation of the system. And I'm saying this very confidently, this publisher and these games will never ever go away. So be careful. Remember the name, avoid anything with the words 3D puzzle or hidden in them, make sure to check the prices to see for any inconsistencies, and make sure to spread the word and warn others about all this. Because as obvious as it may be to you and me, there are still many people that will unfortunately fall victim to these scams. And if they aren't well versed in Steam's refund policy, they might accidentally lose the chance to refund said games. Quick heads up, you have 14 days to refund the game which cannot be played for any more than 2 hours, not even by 1 second more. As for bundles, the combined playtime of all games in said bundle must also not exceed 2 hours, alongside that 14 day rule. Another heads up, if you abuse this system to get free games, you will be banned. If this video does well, I'll do another one similar, where I just throw away money for your entertainment. But that's about it for this video, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, comment down below how fucking stupid I am, I've been a waste of money, you've been watching me lose everything that I worked so hard for, and ciao ciao.